Guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. So today we are going to do um, a long-awaited golf ball test. We've done a lot of golf ball tests this year and yeah. over the last 18 months. Um, but this is probably the one that people have been waiting for and would want to see the most. Especially after the way it went last time we did. Yeah, the newest true. of the Pro Very V1s. True. Yeah, forget we, we uh, 2018, we, yeah. we'd done a comparable test with Pro V1 and Pro V1X. It came out quite similar for us. Yep. Yep. Uh, it would be fair to say. Uh, but 2019, there have been more definitive changes to the separation of those golf balls and, and now the role that they each play. Yeah, so I think last time we tested them, maybe the way the literature was didn't quite, um, well, I, I think there was confusion. Mm -hmm. People weren't sure whether Pro V1 and Pro V1X flipped in and the 2018 over, model. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think when we tested them, we realized they hadn't really done that. Yeah. Now this year, from everything that we've seen and heard, it sounds like they may have actually changed in spin profiles mm -hmm. to the point where you may become a Pro V1 player. Yeah. So the reason for the video is just that. Don't want people thinking, I'm gonna go get more Pro V1Xs, I played them for 10 years. Yeah. It may actually be a different ball now. So we're gonna go through wedge, seven iron driver and see what, you know, see how they stack up. I mean, I think when it comes down to the golf balls and one big element of this that has been a hotly debated or discussed topic over the course of this current season is, is the compression of the golf yep, ball. Yep. Um, so as, as we sort of know and have known that softer compression golf balls will, will launch lower than firm compression, compression golf balls. So in terms of changing the aerodynamic package on Pro V1, which is going to be a lower launch golf ball because it is softer compression, right. it makes sense to make that the lower spinning option also because it's coming out in that lower window mm. keeping it with with the kind of spin rate down so it is a lower launch lower spin but golf ball so it's for the person that wants to bring the flight overall just down yeah yeah i mean and obviously you know in the mix of of the titles conversation there's there's still avx yeah and again more you know, extreme. softer which yeah. launches even lower and True. has a dimple pattern which is is going to sort of uh have less spin mm. uh, on it and then now obviously you know the new pro v1x which is which is you know apparently even uh lower spinning than, than either of these yeah um so yeah the sorry that's the dash pro v1x, that's the, uh, pro V1X dash right yeah right just yep. yeah that that's not out yet but we will test that eventually i believe that there's going to be some some quantities available right. uh, next week i think october 1st the uh, first week in october okay. they were talking about so it hopefully so. we'll do that very soon then. yeah so this will be good today to to do some wedge iron driver tests from these two golf balls see what we see mm. uh see if we can see those sort of launch and spin patterns um, separate a little bit. I mean, the root cause of these changes mm -hmm. uh, has predominantly been tour driven, right. tour, tour feedback driven. The best players in the world one, would always gravitate towards the Pro V1X because they preferred how it performed in the wind yep. and they preferred how the, uh, the, it performed off the driver. Right. That, right. Was, that was for the most part uh, and why the, the, kind of, the, the change was made. And safe to say, Pro V1 maybe would be preferred around the green, but because of those other things you mentioned, they've gone away and, and gone to the yeah. X instead. I think most people, if you ask them, you know, for a feel shot, for a touch shot, if you mm. had a, a little chip shot around the green, would you want something that was kind of hard and a little clickier? Would you want something that has a little bit of a softer feel, mm. it feels like it comes off a little more cushioned? Most people will probably gravitate towards that. So Agreed. you've kind of got the, the trade off there. You want the, the feel of the, off the driver, like it's kind of coming off with a real firm strike and low balls, high launch, low spin. Yep. But round the greens, you're looking for it to have some nice uh, kind of control and spin. Right, yeah. So absolutely. that's the, it's, it's trying to kind of obviously mesh those two, those two needs. Okay. Okay. Right, why don't we start off with, uh, let's start with Pro V1, the, okay. the new lower spinning version. All right. Let's do some, 50, what do you got, 54 degree? It's a 54 degree wedge. What's your number? Uh, buck 20. Cool. Oh, haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> Um, do you know what I'd quite like to do almost is uh, 
I wouldn't mind turning the project. Would you? Would it be awkward for you to hit these shots with the projector off? I, just, I wouldn't mind just you hitting shots and just like not having, having no any idea. feel for what's going on. No sub subjectivity. No kind of okay. influence. Sure. Do it. As long as you tell me if like they're offline. Yeah, exactly. Just tell I'll, me if I'll guide you with your speeds and stuff. And okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yep, nice. That was well hit, eh? Yeah, that felt nice. Quite nice. That one flew 190. That was good, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Line was okay? Little draw. Really nice there. Good. Stripey. Okay, one more good. Tell me that's straight. By far your best one. Okay, good. Center stripe. Good. Literally, center stripe. Good as well. Yeah. Those two felt middle ish. Where's that? Perfect. Okay. Really good. Go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's good. So screen was off. <clears throat> yeah, so we, we hit a couple of balls. We hit a couple of shots with the screen on. I'm yes. like, do you mind if I turn the screen off? I just would like this to be something that we're not kind of going, oh, look at that. Oh, mm. look at that. Like, An just, expected result. Just let you, just let you hit. Yep. Um, so I was kind of here to regulate your speed and yes. if you needed to turn up a notch or down a notch or something or like that, after, right? we could do that. So let's, uh, as you say, start with the wedges. So, it was almost identical. So, let's have a look there. So, your spin rate with the uh, Pro V1 was 11,135. Mm -hmm. uh, launch angle at 29.7. Pro V1X was 29.8. <laughs> mm -hmm. And 200 more. 200 RPMs spin. more spin. So, a tiny little bit more spin. Yeah. A couple hundred. Negligible, right? Like Fairly the negligible. You know, the launch is a surprise. The launch is a surprise in part. Huh. Yeah. yeah. You okay. really think the uh, the X would go higher? Yep. Okay. Speed-wise and stuff, you know, 99.1 versus 98.7. So we were close enough. It's close enough. Within a yard, too? Yep. Okay. Okay, seven iron. Okay. So, so 131.7, 132. Again, within half a mile an hour. Um, launch angle identical. Spin rate was a fraction higher with Pro V1X. Fraction. Hmm. 140-ish. 
So really, the resulting ball flight would probably be quite hard to identify have heard true. with the naked eye, which one's doing what. So um, a tiny bit more spin from the X mm -hmm. in both cases. Yeah, in both cases a it little did bit spin, more spin a little bit more. Okay. Um, with the driver, it was almost <laughs> identical in terms of the launch and spin. Almost wow. identical, which was kind of what they were trying to do it's with, true. with the Pro V1. Um, Bring this closer to the X. Correct, correct. So, so they did kind of achieve that. They, they've definitely achieved that. Now, we, we saw some fairly similar stuff last time. Really, the only difference between them is your swing speed was a little bit quicker with the, with Pro V1X. Your efficiency was a tad higher as well. Okay, so the speed, ball speed shouldn't be really paid attention to because it was really. just the swing. That was more just, that was just you swinging a hair quicker at that time. Yeah, so, catch, yeah, catch. not really concerned about the difference in distance, etc. Really? We, we have seen that in the past, you, you know, this is, these are two fairly firm golf balls, but mm -hmm. we have seen you, you know, hit soft compression, uh, compression golf balls uh, not as far yeah. as very firm golf balls in the past. So I would have probably expected to see a little bit of a ball speed difference there, mm. um, but very, very negligible. Hmm. Um, so I think all in all, when we, when we kind of throw it all up there, it's... You're it's looking at two very similar golf balls. Very, very similar golf balls. Now, hmm. the, the biggest thing that we said at the top of the episode um, was, you know, really the change in aerodynamics package yep. and, and kind of how these balls are designed. We're not testing these into the sort of wind conditions that hmm. Titleist are certainly doing their research in. So yeah, yeah. we're identifying in the lab environment, this lab environment, what these sort of conditions are, and they're, they're similar. I mean, it does kind of seem like they achieved what they wanted. Yeah. I know we're not hitting pitch shots yeah. and stuff, but obviously pitch shots with this will be a little softer. Yeah, yeah. Probably check up a little mm -hmm. bit more. Um, but when it comes to hitting a mid to long iron, mm -hmm. you're getting now less spin from Pro V1, and you're getting the same or similar driver spin. Mm -hmm. So that is what the tour players asked for. That's it. They wanted it to spin a little bit less. So it, I think it's achieved. It kind of makes it a little bit confusing, I think, as a consumer, because they are closer together now. Mm -hmm. But it probably emphasizes more working green backwards more than ever. I would assume 100%. like putter exactly. wedge. And titles do say they you know, prefer they, that anyway. They, they want you to do that putter wedges, mm. approach shots, irons, obviously the into driver. the woods and driver. So in, in some ways it'll make the decision more simple. You won't get the guy going, you know, I really want to hit my driver as far as yeah. possible. Then he'll sacrifice feel on the short mm -hmm. game. Now mm -hmm. he doesn't really have to. Basically, just pick the one that does the best from from low to high. Definitely, and and you know whether it's something that we see across the board, but it looks to me like you could kind of take your pick yeah. from a, a feel perspective. They did not feel crazy different, um, except the wedge. Mm -hmm. The wedge did feel different. Fair enough. Uh, Pro V1 felt softer with my wedge. I can't tell you that I felt any difference mm -hmm. otherwise, though. The yeah, seven iron and the driver, I wouldn't have been able to tell one from the other, um, but. Putter, I'm sure, and, and chipping, I'm sure you'd, mm -hmm. you'd feel the softer ball and full swings of the wedge. But yep. beyond that, I, you know, I don't think you'd really notice. Interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so I'd love to do more of this. And, and you know, when we get down to sort of, uh, you know, the weather's kind of going to be yes. against us for the next few months. But when we get to Orlando or something like that in for January, sure. we can do uh, a little bit more of this stuff. You know, potentially if we end up going out west, um, right. you know, maybe doing a little bit more of this sort of... Uh, aerodynamics testing that we're talking about aerodynamics and some more short game i guess and just how these would react on a green maybe a little bit yeah. differently with a chip and stuff like that but yeah well that would be good definitely okay um guys probably a bit of a surprise for everyone that, that they've ended up you know coming out in this test quite similar to one another mm -hmm. we've regulated a lot of the variables that are involved but you know the, the major ones are element you know the elements the, the environment sure. the yeah. more environmental so um, we want to throw those in the mix, and I'm really curious to see what, what we do see, if we do see some kind of peaks uh, from one ball or the other, you know, as we hit it into headwinds and how they deal in crosswinds and things like that. Because there's different amount of dimples on these two balls they and are. different patterns yeah. of them, so that's, that's, exactly. that's where that shows up. For sure. Cool. For sure. And, uh, and obviously, you know, throwing in, I'd love to throw in the AVX mm. and also the, the new Pro V1X um, dash, dash in there as well. So I'd love to get the four of those in there for test and yeah. do a, a fairly deep, wide review on those. I think people would like to see That'd that. That'd be good to see. Cool. Okay. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. That was um, a little bit of a surprise for us. But, um, you know, tell us what you think. If you've kind of changed your golf ball, yeah. went to one of these new ones, let us know how it's been performing for you. Excellent. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.